Hey, look at that. We meet again. And again and again. You really are good at hide and seek. Oh, well, you've been very cooperative. Leaving my tracking device in your medical bag. Thank you. Well, like I said, I like being pursued. Not all the time, apparently. Then why would you say that? Well, it's not very helpful when you leave said medical bag in your office. And you go off and you do God knows whatever, wherever. Well, what do you think I'm doing? I'm feeding my, my body after you've fed my soul. <laughs> very romantic. My passion makes me ravenous. Me too. Oh, yes, I know. I saw my room service bill. Oh. <laughs> Something tells me I'm going to be feeding you again. How about a few answers first? Okay. I guess you haven't had very much of this yet, so you haven't been here that long, which means that you have been someplace else doing something that you don't want me to know about. You waiting for a denial? You're absolutely right. I'm busted. You'll be ultra top secret has been. Oh, me. has been. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> but you are making a comeback, right? Yeah. And for that reason, I'm willing to tell you whatever you want to know. Go on, then. Actually, I'm a covert drug lord. One of the biggest. And I like to do a street deal every once in a while, you know, just to keep myself... Selling home. drugs is funny to you? Oh, not at all. I just made a cool million. On the streets? Mm-hmm. In the last few hours? I was moving some primo merchandise. You know what? Shut up. Well, isn't that what you think I, I am? Some master criminal? Blah, blah, isn't that why you're blah, searching blah, my room, blah, blah, keeping tabs blah. on me, envisioning me in my underwear? A cool million mm -hmm. in two hours. Well, dinner's definitely on you, then. Excuse me. Sure. Um, you folks are regulars, right? Uh-huh. Do you know the owner? No. Yeah. Have you Why? seen him tonight? Mm -hmm. Fortunately, I haven't. Sorry. Okay, thanks. So good. Would you excuse me? Well, is it something I said? I'll be right back. Double. No, make it a triple. You really think that's a good idea? Did you get off my back just for one night? If I do, then it's you're a dead man. Well, thanks for waiting for me before you start again. Well, I'm starving. So, how's your friend at the bar, all right? Depends on who you ask. David. Mm-hmm. I've been calling you all night. Why don't you try answering your phone? Well, it's good to see you too, Leo. My brown brother. Hi. Hey, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. Can I talk to you for a second? You know what? I'll go get an espresso. Excuse me. Thank you. All right, what's up? I need to know. And? Are you sure my wife isn't... Are you sure she's okay? Leo, Laura couldn't be making a better recovery. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm absolutely sure. She's having great checkups. And I took Jake off of her case, like you asked me, so there's no problem there. But I get the feeling this is about something else, right? Uh, yeah. We, uh... Well, we had another incident with Greenlee. And what about this time? She broke into our house. Yeah, I know. So I threatened a restraining order just to scare her a little bit, but Brooke actually had her arrested for it. Maybe overreacting a little? Yeah, you think? So I told the judge at the hearing that I didn't want to press charges, and Laura completely flipped out. <laughs> Leo. <laughs> what, that surprises you? You were defending your old girlfriend. Not really. I mean, I, 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 Greenlee drives me crazy, too, but not enough to actually throw her in jail for it. All right, so what did the judge decide? Well, I guess she bought whatever I was saying. So Greenlee's free? Unless she goes anywhere near Laura. And what happens when she acts up again? The judge is going to have her arrested. You okay with that, Leo? 
Not seeing the woman you love again? I didn't have a choice. I had to push Greenlee away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Was I staring? Were you? Oh, you didn't notice? No. I'm kind of tunnel vision right now. You know, I'm shopping around for a new doctor, and I, I noticed that you were talking to David Hayward. I hear he's very good. So you, you don't know him yourself very well? Not really. You're British. Mm hmm You know, I really hope that means you'll have a scotch with me. in the interest of hydro. She is trying to destroy my daughter. That is ridiculous. You broke into their apartment and you, you, you took her medication. I know you did. Press me. Pat me down. Anything to shut them up. Here, here. Go ahead. Knock yourself out. Search it. Go on. Yeah, must have been one hell of a daydream. Seen you something like that in weeks. Yeah, well, maybe I'm just happy that my life has finally become straightened out. Hmm. I think you're kidding yourself, kid. Your life's more messed up now than it's ever been. You already admitted you had to push Greenlee away. So what? So it must be getting more difficult for you, pretending that you love Laura. Especially with Greenlee running around, reminding you what you've lost. I didn't lose anything, David. No, no. Just the love of your life, the woman who completes you. Right? I have Laura. Leo, you married Laura because she was sick. And that was a noble gesture. But tell me something, brother. What does it feel like waking up to a noble gesture? I love my wife. Yeah. Leo, you want to love your wife. There's a really big difference. Hello, can I get you another round? No, I'm okay. Thank yeah. You. Uh, you know what? I'll have a double. Thank you. Okay. Well, if you do happen to talk to Dr. Hayward, you know, I wonder... I told you I hardly know the guy, and now I... I had better be off. Oh, careful. <laughs> if you will, uh... <clears throat> You'll just point me toward the door. Oh, sure. It's right over here. Mm. And uh, you're not driving, are you? I don't chance? think so. No. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Can we get a cab here for this gentleman? We we'll call Okey cab. Okey dokey. Dum dum de dum. Dum dum to you and the wifey. <laughs> Thank you. Dum dum de dum dum. Dr. Hayward here. David, it's Laura. Listen, I need to see you right away. Regarding? Um, Jake Martin. Can I meet you at your office? What about him? Please, can we just not go into this on the phone? I... Will you meet me? I'll think about it. Do me a favor, would you not tell Leo about this? Don't worry, I 